looking in the video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell to select all so you don't miss any of our videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends and family about us too. It's the only way we can grow and that YouTube knows you're enjoying our videos. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well for extra content and behind the scenes footage. Let's get into the video. Good morning and welcome to today's video. So it is, I'm not even sure what day of Vlogmas at this point because I've been horrible with Vlogmas this year. <laughs> Um, my mom and I have just been so busy with the coop trying to get this done. I've been so busy with it that I haven't put up lights outside. I literally just got that done the other day. I just started putting up the tree <laughs> last night. We are normally so far ahead with Christmas decorating. So usually we have the tree up in like November and... I'm so far behind in everything right now. So it is not just you guys, it is everything that's falling apart right now for things that I need to get done. Uh, the other thing I've been really busy with is because we found the new bunny, Pepper, she has expensive vet bills that are coming up. So I've just been trying to make a little bit of extra money doing, I did a Christmas market. So we saw, I make jewelry. So I was just selling jewelry and some Christmas decorations, crafting these little Christmas gnomes, and selling some jewelry. So that took up a bit of time. And then this morning, I'm part of the parent council at Kate's school. So we were doing a teacher appreciation breakfast this morning. So we were there. Now I've just gotten home and I'm gonna go out for what is hopefully the very last day of this chicken coop and we will be moving the birds in then, which means I can start right back to regular stuff for you guys. We have a really exciting announcement. Starting tomorrow, Kate will be riding with a new coach. She's still riding with her other coaches, but this is just an additional coach. He is the one that we had gone and seen in a clinic. He's an eventer and he's a phenomenal coach. So he's going to be working with Kate for jumping and eventing and things like that. Kate doesn't want to do eventing. I should correct that. Kate's not currently planning on doing eventing, but to work on jumping with uh, Stevie at least, and then eventually Duke maybe, we'll see. And right now I'm gonna jump out and finish that coop and hopefully show you guys that. And then we'll get right back to horse videos. <laughs> All right. Okay guys, this is the finished product. We finally finished. It is a gorgeous day today. Perfect day for finishing this coop and We've got, in the run here, we are gonna have this area for our big chickens. It's gonna connect out to our main coop. Ramps built here. We've got our chicken doors. I'm also gonna put an eye hook on here that locks just because raccoons can open anything that a three-year-old could, they say. So, got that door. We are gonna hang our food outside now, which is gonna be so nice. We have our food outside right now, but it's on the ground and it's a big pain. We've made a door connecting into our smaller area so that if we wanna have them all together, we can. And if we have a group of chickens that are younger and need to be separated for safety until they're a little bit bigger, we can do that as well. So it's all about versatility. And in here, we have this smaller run area both sections can go underneath the coop as well. So this door is up here and the ducks are gonna be in this area over here opening to the outside. So we want them separated because male ducks, once they are of mating age, can actually enter and kill chickens. So our ducks are super tame and calm right now, but they're also still a little bit younger. So just in case, we're gonna have that, but hopefully they can be together, but just in case. So same thing, I gotta put the eye hook on, but this is a secondary door for smaller chickens like our silkies and things like that. All right, let's go check out the inside. So we have our nesting boxes. I've gotta put the eye hook on here. Everything on the bottom of this coop is lined with maple hardwood flooring, because that's what we had left over from my mom. And so we've got maple floor down there that's all varathane, so it's gonna stay nice and protected. Nesting box is all here. So we've got two really nice big cleaning doors, one over there, one here for this section. 
Same thing, I've got our extra security latches just to make sure those da doors stay tight and then I'll be doing the eye hooks. This is going to be the area for our bigger chickens. 12 feet by four feet. They've got two roosting bars. So they've got 24 feet of roosting bars. Our chickens like to crowd up together even though there's lots of roost bar space. So they do say about a foot per chicken, but ours do not. They all like to huddle together. We've got nesting boxes down low. That was a mistake we made in our other one and they were all roosting in there. So this time we've got them on the floor. We went and picked up at Habitat for Humanity ceiling panels is what they actually are. They retail for, I think it was $700, so the amount that I bought, and I got it for like 40 bucks a box. So it worked out to be perfect. They are waterproof, they are mold resistant, and they're nice and clean, easy wipeable. So that was perfect to put over top of our free insulation that we got. I got free lights from a neighbor. And so those went up there and I've got a switch out the back. This is our dividing wall so that we can have a little door here if we want to have the chickens all together. And if we need them separated, we can do that. I've got these roost bars that can pull out through a little door here so that we can keep them clean, scrape them down and hose them down easy for easy clean out. Vents all along the top, at the back, and then all along the top at the front. I've just got shutters on them right now because the, the wind comes from this way. This is our area for our smaller chickens. So again, they can connect over there to the bigger coop. They've got their own door outside. They've got lots of ventilation in here. A roost bar for the ones that like it. It's a nice flatter, wider one. And our other silkies and our one chicken that's disabled, they like to have a shelf to go on. And then we've got nesting boxes here as well. And then down below, we have our duck area. So they've got ventilation there and over here. They've got a nice big spot here with their door out to their area. So there it is. We are finally finished, covered in shavings and dust, but we are done. And now we are off to a surprise party for my aunt. So we will see you on the next one.